on their way to witness the making of a saint, a test of their own patience. For enduring the lines. The reward is the familiar sight of Mother Teresa, now depicted with the halo of a saint. It's nice to see someone that's more current. I mean, yes, she's been dead a long time, but it's still, it's more my generation. Being here to, to uh, see her become a saint is, is quite fantastic. I think uh, she's a, a role model for us all. And so the excitement builds, along with the temperatures. Too much for some. Almost 19 years to the day after she died, a relic of Mother Teresa, a vial of her own blood, makes its way to the stage, symbolizing her presence. Pope Francis is asked to add her name to the long list of Catholic saints. The making of St. Teresa formalizes Catholic reverence for a woman once famous as Saint of the Gutters. It required proof of not one but two miracles attributed to her after her death. The Vatican's credited her with curing two people of serious illness. Her work is admired well beyond the church, work carried on by the missionaries of charity order she founded, here preparing food for the poor. But even those who knew her say she was not perfect, including this Winnipegger who built the case for her sainthood and studied letters that revealed a spiritual struggle. Well, it shocked everyone. Even the sisters closest to her had no idea of that interior experience. She just kept it very much to herself. So how did this auction of hyperbole and credulity get started? Critics, however, say she was not only imperfect, but possibly negligent. One of them is a man who helped produce this documentary and a book that pilloried her practices. But I do expect that she should have used new needles when needles are required very rarely in her so-called home for the dying. The producers of another, more positive portrayal say Mother Teresa was aware of her critics. When she heard it, she says, well, we have accepted all the praise. We have to accept this as well. In St. Peter's Square today, any doubts were drowned out by the devotion. And Susan, now that she is St. Teresa, we're told that we'll learn more about her life as unseen footage and documents are made public.